Welcome to the dark and gloomy place of the INTPFE. It's a very strange place, filled with puppies. I was trying to uh, do this video, but my dog decided to sit right on my computer and um, nibble on his bone. The welcome lies. Flee from her adversary. This is a perfect representation of the FE. While trying to express FE, there's this constant nibbling in the background. It just keeps you from fully expressing it. So we're doing it a little differently. Uh, what this is, is that I'm going to try to articulate or read a poem to you that I've written. Um, it doesn't like have a rhyme, but there is kind of like a, um, a like a, I don't know what you call romantic uh, vo voicing to it, but it's not just like a regular didactic um, like explanation of how to turn on a water faucet. Like it has a poetic flavor to it. Whatever. I'm not a pro. I'm just writing. <laughs> this poem is about wisdom, and I was kind of having a little bit of a mental breakdown about about people, and well, it's kind of similar to the, the INTP darkness video that I posted a little bit earlier. Um, it's not as dark, but it kind of stems from a similar point of view of just trying to process certain things about um, humanity. And so, here we go. Wisdom is a knife that cuts deep into the heart and reveals the corruption boasted by the foolish. For the foolish hate her and will rise up against her whispering. It is a searing pain in their ears. Anger boils in them when she comes their way. She seeks a kind heart but receives hatred. Woe to him that hides from her and cuts her off from his hearing. His mind is noisy with bashing metal to shut her up. Oh, how people long for truth but welcome lies. Oh, how people seek wisdom but discover foolishness. What is wisdom but a morning mist in the eyes of the foolish? Be ever watchful. She shines as clear as day and yet hides in plain sight. Her cloak hides her from those who have, that seek to violate, violate her beauty. They do not love nor revere her. Let the foolish drown further in their foolish ways, but let the wise rise up above all wealth. In the end, the fool will scour the land for her, but she will not be found. They will wail her name, but she will not heed them. She has gone with those who, whom you have murdered. In your foolishness, you have dimmed the conscience of the world and made it desolate of those who discovered the light. They shall rejoice when you are destroyed. The tears they have shed because of you will be no more. Your hand has been cut off from them, and they shall find rest in me. Your doom prowls at your door, but it is I who tames it, for I am patient and desire all to come to me. Watch for her, and you will live. Seek her beauty, and she will be found. Her voice pierces the heart. Many hear her and flee. She shows no partiality. The words on her lips are tested and true. She proclaims the one that lives forever and shouts his name from every mountain top. Listen closely. She adorns herself in white and purple. Purity is her cloak, and truth is her crown. Her hair is longer than the age of this world, but it, but is plucked by those who oppress her. For every soul that rests at her feet, a flower is placed in her hair to remember them. To those who are dead, her gentle voice is a roar of, is a roar of a lion. But to those who are made alive, her song strengthens their bones with a promise. Her touch is a scorching flame to those, to, to the lost, but encouragement to those who love her. All who gaze upon her want no other, but woe, who to him, but woe to him who knows her and chooses another. She is modest and does not boast meaningless words like her adversary. Flee from her adversary. Who is like the whore of the nations? The adversary does not relent prostituting herself to all who are lost. She reveals her, her innermost parts to anyone who takes interest in her. Hatred replaces love. Dishonor replaces honor. Lies replace truth. She gorges in perverted love, rejoices in betrayal, and lies drip from every kiss. She has no life in her. All who enter into her will surely die. She is a snare, a rose that waits to cut you with, the thorns, with her thorns and abandon you in the shadows. Her tongue floods poison. And her demons will, she and her demons will gloat over you, and in that time she will, she will reveal her true nature. 
Many will rot in the despair doomed for her, but his life has power over the death she brings. Her, her end will be swift. She and all who serve her will drink his bitter cup that awaits her. Be ever watchful, for you are not as strong as you deem, and you will fall under her predestined judgment. Blessed is he who finds wisdom and keeps her close. His blessings will be counted beyond the number of the stars. Whew. It's a bit long, and I'm sorry I'm a little bit dyslexic, so it's difficult trying to read it. And I was trying to have a little bit of F.E. come out with it, but it just, yeah. Not prepared for that kind of uh, presentation. But anyway, um, if you have any other, any kind of poetic things uh, of your when you're processing life and stuff, I'd love to hear it. Feel free to leave it in the comment section below. And I will see you in another video of another life. You never know. I'm gonna have another video with two more poems. They're shorter, and they're gonna be interesting, hopefully. And uh, my my dog's all like, "What's going on?" I think someone got or. Someone just came home. So, and it's like really late. I don't know. All right. Peace out.